Hey, what's going on guys? Coach Clayton with Upper Class Sports. Uh, today's video, just wanted to take a look at Max Scherzer. Uh, Want to take a look at his fastball and his changeup and just the similarities between the two pitches um, when we're talking about the delivery. So um, let's just go ahead and take a look at his fastball real quick. <laughs> 98. That's 98 miles an hour right there. So one thing I wanted to point out is as he gets down to his driving position, as he's getting ready to go ahead and lead into foot strike, I just kind of wanted to show you the positioning of his back knee over his big toe. So I talk a lot about the big toe and driving off the big toe because the kinetic energy, if you know anything about the kinetic chain, uh, kinetic energy starts at one point and has to end at another. So it starts from the big toe because that's going to be the last point to be touching the ground and then at release out the fingertips so the kinetic energy from the big toe to the fingertips so take a look at his back knee over his big toe as he drives down the mound his butt is going to be right over his heel this is prime drive position especially for high velocity pitchers so take a look here, you got his back knee over his big toe. As he drives down the mound, he's gonna go ahead and get, see, there we go, his big toe. It's gonna be the last thing it's gonna touch before he goes into foot strike. And right as he goes and leads into foot strike, watch his back knee, how it drives towards the catcher's glove. Bam, bam. Now it kind of looks like it's driving down but that's just because as he goes starts driving down the mound, it's gonna get parallel to the mound because it's a downward slant, obviously. But that back knee is driving towards the catcher's glove right there, bam. And now what happens is, watch his hips as he leads into foot strike. Just as he goes to get down, bam. So right about there, his hips are locked on home plate and then watch, he's gonna get to foot strike and watch those hips explode, bam those hips are just going to explode with violence. So that's all created from him driving off of his back leg. You hear coaches say all the time, well, use your legs when you pitch. You want to throw hard, you want to throw high velocity. Use your legs. Well, this is how. He's driving and exploding with everything he's got from right about there. That's probably his sweet spot. You can see as his heel comes up off the ground, that's where he's exploding with everything he's got with his with his lower half. He's exploding off that big toe. And right as he gets into foot strike, he's exploding with his hips because all that kinetic energy starts with the foot, drives up the, his body, drives his back knee right there, bam, back knee, back knee, then to hips, and then hips to shoulders, and then out the hand, bam. And then you got his follow through. So if you take a peek here, Go ahead and watch in full speed. Bam. Whew. That's explosion. So let's go ahead and take a look at the changeup. I just want to show a similarity. So here's his changeup. Besides the fact that that's a disgusting pitch, let's go ahead and see it as he gets into that, what I like to call sweet spot. So that's probably his sweet spot. Yep, just as his foot's about to come up, or his heel's about to come up off the ground, he's going to start driving off that big toe. So you've got that back knee over the big toe, his butt over the heel, and here we go as he as he lifts that back heel to start put, exploding off that toe, right as he goes into foot strike, yep, hips are locked on, bam, hips locked on home plate, oh, hold on, let's take a look at back knee, back knee drives to home plate, same as his fastball, identical, then right about there, his back knee is, is going, you know, goes big toe, back knee, and then it's gonna go drive all that energy up through the hips. So watch as the foot comes to the ground, bam, hips explode. So we got that hip explosion, which then leads up to the sh shoulders, bam, out the hand. So the key here, let's go ahead and look at them both. I want you to see both pitches, and I want you to see, does it look like he slows his delivery down to throw his change up, or does it look identical to his fastball? You go ahead and be the judge. So to me, it's identical. 
and that's the key. As a pitcher, we want to make sure all of our pitches look the same. And Max Scherzer, he's replicated his delivery so many times that every single pitch looks exactly like his fastball out of the hand. And that's why these hitters get so fooled because they cannot recognize that pitch based off of his body. They're recognizing the pitch when it's too late, when it's already in the hitting zone. And by that time, it's fallen off the table like this one just did. And now we're making a hitter look foolish. So I hope this video was helpful. Um, go ahead and take some of the things I said. Try them in your next bullpen or in your next throwing session and see if you see a difference in your delivery or in your pitches. And then go ahead and let me know what you thought. Um, yeah, like I said, I hope this helps. And uh, we'll see you again soon. Thanks.